here a special project I did for a commission. This is the resin chef uh, King Caesar sculpted by Bill Gudmundson. Uh, I had this kit in my collection for quite a while unbuilt. I sold it to uh, one of my uh, friends and clients and um, he wanted me to put real fur on it. Uh, a guy we both know named uh, Fred Del Vecchio uh, did this years ago. He did a lighter colored fur than I did, but his goal is to put real fur on it. And so I tried to do that. Uh, the balance is really uh, uh, difficult. Uh, it, it's, it's fine if you have it set just right, but I didn't want to mess that up, so I put uh, something there to make sure it doesn't fall over. As I turn the turntable, I'd hate it to fall over and break something uh, while I'm turning it. But it stands pretty well if you have the right uh, surface for it without anything supporting it. But um, I'm going to recommend that my client puts something under the tail or under one of the feet or something just to kind of give it a little extra uh, uh, support. Uh, it was a little difficult putting the hair on. I guess that's the biggest thing I'll talk about because otherwise it was pretty much like doing a regular kit. And uh, don't get me wrong, Bill Gudmundson did a great job sculpting it, the hair as it was. Uh, but the client wanted it to look a little bit more like real hair, so you can't do much better than put real hair on there. Uh, the difficult thing was in these areas here uh, and uh, on the wrist, on the elbow, and in the chest area, the hair is kind of swirled um, in some of these places. And so I um, tried to do that, and then I used Mod Podge to style it. But it looked a uh, little less uh, wild and, and uh, free like the rest of it did. So I had to put, I used uh, tacky glue to, uh, uh, and I started at the bottom and went up and just tried to layer it and then I put Mod Podge at the top of each section that I did. It might have come out a little better if I would have done a little bit more patiently and did more uh, layers uh, like I just described with shorter hair. Um, but it's really tedious and especially difficult on the top of the head and on the ears because it's got to be shorter hair and it was kind of hard to do. So I don't think I'm going to be doing this again on uh, on one of these kits. If somebody wants me to do a commission of this, I don't think I want to do it again. But maybe I'll change my mind and be willing to do it down the road after I've sort of recovered. <laughs> I, I, I just, uh, 
I, I just almost gave up on this one because I was having such a hard time getting it initially. And eventually I felt a little better about it. So hopefully the client will like it now. And uh, we'll have something for him that we'll, he'll be happy with. And the other difficulty I haven't come into yet is I need to wrap this up in bubble wrap and ship it. And uh, of course I don't want it to end up being... Uh, uh, broken in shipping so so there you have it there he is King Caesar so thanks for watching guys till next time bye